Good morning, students. Welcome to YouTube live class for second year anthropology. So, in the last class, we have already discussed about the kinship. Uh, uh, kinship, the meaning, the definition, definition, and uh, primary kinship, secondary kinship, and tertiary kinship, degrees of kinship. So, today I am going to discuss about the kinship terminology as well as kinship usage of behavior. Okay. So, kinship, as we know, kinship is the wave of social relationship. It is a wave of social relationship means people, all people are interacted with each other and all people are binded with a particular social relationship. Okay. Though, so, that may be uh, arise from a broad relation or that may be arise from the marriage relation. So, people are bound together various kinds of bonds. The most basic universal type of this bond is called as kinship. So, that may be conservinal kinship or that may be affinal kinship. So, last class we have already discussed uh, in detail. Okay. So, today I am going to present that the kinship terminology and usage. So, as we know, kinship that is the uh, almost uh, that is a universal uh, um, organization or uh, universal. Uh, organization found throughout the world in each and every type of society we can found the kinship organization okay so without the kinship organization any type of social um, unity cannot be found okay so people they are bound together various kinds of bonds okay that may be uh, developed from a marital relationship or that may be developed from a Mm, uh, developed from the broad relationship, okay, or familiar relationship, or uh, linear uh, relationship, okay. So, the bond of blood and marriage which binds people together in group and establishes social relationship is called as kinship. Already we have discussed that the, uh, including the broad relatives as well as the marital relatives, uh, relatives, the, those the product of the, through the marriage system, all are under the uh, web of the kinship. Okay, so kinship refer to a principle by which individuals or group of individuals are organized in the social group. Individuals or group of uh, individuals, they are organized in the social group. They are organized in a, a social group, they are binded through a grouping. Okay, that is the fringe of the kinship. Okay. And uh, they have a specific rules, they have the specific, uh, they have the specific categories and genealogy by means of kinship terminology. Okay. So, kinship goes beyond familial ties and involves social bonds, excluding the familial relations. Kinship also extends up to other types of social relations. Okay. So, all members of the society, they are uh, somehow related with each other. That may be family relations, that may be marital relations, that may be any other social um, relations with one another. Okay. So, kinship defines proper and acceptable relationship. Acceptable relationship means the relationship that can be accepted by the society on the basis of their social customs or uh, traditions. Okay. So, and acts as a regulator of social life. Okay. So, Kinship terms are used in a community to identify relationship between individuals, this is also called as the kinship terminology. So, people they use a specific term for a specific person, for a specific term for a multiple person. So, to identify, to uh, identify to, uh, a particular person or a group of persons or multiple persons for a, in, through a single term or through a multiple term is a, the uh, it's called as the kinship terminology. Okay. So, various kinship terms that are used for identifying a uh, group of populations or people or a particular person. Okay. That is known as the kinship terminology. So, kinship is the socially recognized relationship between people. Socially recognized, socially accepted. The relationship is socially accepted or socially culturally recognized. Accepted. Okay. Um, uh, between people in a culture who are either held to or biological related or given the status of relatives by marriage, adoption or other choice. 
any type of forms any type of social form relationship established any type of social form that may be socially adopted that may be uh, is the product of the marriage that may be the familiar relation okay so any type of socially ad, uh, accepted related socially accepted relation uh, all the peoples they are bound together by just kinds of bonds and that is called as the kinship so it is culturally defined relationship between individuals who are commonly thought of as are having familial ties cultural different relationship culturally different relationship or the familiar ties okay so before going to discuss about the kinship systems or the kinship or uh, organization in details so first we have to know what is uh, the genealogical aspects of the uh, family so genealogy means uh, that is the um, trace of the uh, of your origin through a particular lineage through a particular uh, particular lineage or descent so that the genealogy ancestral uh, origin the ancestral parental origin that is the genealogy so genealogy is basically tracing our uh, your ancestors either the father line or mother line or on the of the to understand the descent so one can trace his identity or one can trace her identity through father line or through mother line in the particular society it can be traced to the father line in the particular society it can be traced to the mother mother line mother mother's mother then mother's mother's mother like this okay so father father line as well as the mother line male line and female line in some so particular society that the ancestor can be traced to the male line uh, matrilineal process that can be the female line in some cases the bilineal or the double lineal system also found in in, in some societies so to know about the genealogy to know about the genealogy mean ancestors or descendants of a particular group of population or a particular individual that can be traced to the help of the kinship okay so anthropologists use certain symbols and abbreviations to trace the exact relationship of ego with the other members in a genealogical chart so anthropologists and social anthropologists sociologists also they uh, try to know about the extent of relationship with one another the type of relationship with one another how they are interrelated with one another person that can be symbolized that can be abbreviated through a different symbols or abbreviations okay so uh, in anthropology we can use the b english letter b that is for the brother english letter b that is the brother and c for children d for daughter a for father gc grandchildren gp grandparent p parent s son z for sister w for wife h for husband sp spouse la in law that may be father in law or daughter in law or any mother in law si sibling a mother um, ms ms that is the male speaking ms means that is the male speaking fs female speaking so and g for sibling e spouse e older or elder y younger ss same sex os opposite sex gm grandmother gf grandfather zh sister husband zd sister son zd sister's daughter sla son in law dla daughter in law so these symbol abbreviations that can be used these abbreviations that can be used in kinship system to identify a certain specific relationship with one another okay so that it is very important to know about the genealogical structure genealogical uh, uh, relations with one another so to trace the genealogical relation we have to use various symbols and abbreviations this is the abbreviation okay so let us discuss about various symbols so as we know that is the man man is only a triangle woman that is a circle marriage that is a equal sign of equal connecting sibling unspecified sex that is the symbol of unspecified sex then that is the date that is the date divorce divorce ego eta keta pra ya ho hala okay twins okay so these are the abbreviated symbol or abbreviation uh, uh, symbols that can be used in different uh, to trace the genealogical uh, aspects okay so let us uh, discuss about the kinship terminology okay so before going to the kinship terminology 
first we have cleared about the definition concept meaning of the kinship genealogical system so kinship terminology is very important in almost all the societies because without the term without the terminology one cannot uh, identify uh, for a particular uh, name so kinship terminology is very important and it is must found in almost all the societies okay so louis henry morgan louis henry morgan L.H. Morgan or Louis Henry Morgan, who has been classified the kinship system terminology under two categories. One is the classificatory kinship and another is the descriptive kinship. One is classificatory and another is the descriptive. So the classificatory kinship, what are like classificatory? Another one is the descriptive. Classification on the basis of the classification, Srenio Ganti, Srenio Ganti Samperko, Jumane Odia medium reparicaduzo, Cementago, Monrakio. Classificator system that means the Srenio Ganti Samperko. Descriptive Bononat Moko Ganti Samperko. Descriptive kinship system Bononat Moko Ganti Samperko. Okay. So let us discuss the classificatory kinship. So what is the classificator system? Means one word. One particular word, specific word, is used for multiple person to identify. So when one uh, you go identify a multiple person in a, through a single term, through a single term, specific term, that is known as the classification. Means in a particular classification, all the members of the same sex that can be identified through a particular term. That is the classificatory kinship system. In English, word that is the uncle. Uncle, which is a word which can be used for father's uh, brother, mother's brother. So one word that is the uncle is used for both father's father and, and father's uh, brother and mother's brother. So this is the classificatory kinship system or classificatory term. Okay. So one word is used to identify many persons, identify for the many person. So under this classificatory system, the various kins are included in one category. One category that means the same sex, that means the same generation. Or etc. Okay, so comes under the one category means that uh, that means they belong to a same uh, same sex or they belong to a same generation also. Okay, so and all are referred by the same term. Thus the term uncle is a classificatory term. So like you said, that we have father's brother pay we have to refer to mother's brother pay we have to refer to. That is the class of uncle. Uncle the word English word uncle. Okay, father's brother, mother's brother. Okay. So in anthropologically, we also give an example that is the under the, in the cookie tribe, cookie, K U K, cookie tribe. Use the term hepu, use the term hepu for father's father and mother's father. Okay, father's father as well as the mother's father. So that that is called as the classificatory kinship system. So the English word uncle is also used for multiple purposes. Do you remember earlier father's father or mother, father's brother, mother's brother. Sorry, father's brother, mother's brother. Okay. Then come to the descriptive system. So under des descriptive system uh, means one word, one uh, term, one particular specific term can be used for a particular specific person. Means one word is used for a one person Hala? to identify or to denote a particular person. That is the descriptive system in uh, father. Father is a uh, term that can be used for only a specific person mother that is a specific person okay so that, that that is called as a descriptive system okay so under descriptive system one term refers to only one relation so descriptive kinship system describes speakers exact relation speakers exact relation that means uh, parents relation to them coaching father father kele, only speakers exact relation okay and it is applied to only one relation one key particular guti kin pai ami taku bebara karuchu Okay, so father is a descriptive term. Already we discussed Kaurisalini, father is a descriptive term. Similarly, mother is also a descriptive term. It may be described as one word is used to identify for a specific person. One word is used for identify for a specific particular person. Okay. So, uh, under the concept terminology, uh, that was the Louis Henry Morgan already discussed the two varieties that is the descriptive system and classificatory system. Okay, Louis Henry Morgan, that again we call the descriptive system and classificatory system. Okay, so according to the GP Modak, 
GP Murdoch mentions two categories of the kinship term. The one is the term of address and another is the term of reference. Term of address and another is the term of reference. <coughs> so what is the term of address? Means it this is one used in speak uh, used in speaking to a relative. Used to speaking in a relative. That is the term of address. And term of reference is one used to designate a relative in speaking about him or her to a third person. Okay, to a third person. That is the term of reference. So the term of address means it is an integral part. It is an integral part of the culturally pattern relationship between kinsmen. Term of address. I mean, how to address particular uh, yeah, uh, term, uh, address. So, term of address, address is one used in speaking to a relative, to a relative. That may be a father, that may be a mother. Okay. So, and term of uh, reference means is one used to designate a relative in speaking about him or her by a third person, to a, to a third person. But third person who comes reference is a So, that, that is called the term of reference, which is a linguistic symbol, which is a linguistic symbol. Denoting one of the two statutes involved in a such relationship. Okay. That your best example of father, mother, okay. And term of reference is by to a third person. To a third person can identify to a reference. That is the term of reference. Okay. That is described by the GP Madan. So uh Lucy may LHM organ descriptive system and a classificative system. Uh, GP Modak term of address and term of reference. And Lucy Mayer defines some important kinship terms, okay, that is the kindred, cognates, affines, corporate group, etc. So, kindred are a body of a person who are genealogically linked to the ego. Just the kin relatives, kin members of an ego, that all are coming under the kindred, okay. So, cognate, all the people who are related by blood in any way to an individual are known as cognates. Cognates, agnates and uterines, synergy inference. Cognitella, all the relatives, those who are related to the blood relation. Okay. Agnatella, only male line. Uh, uterine hella, only female line. So, cognate means all the people who are related by blood in any way. To an individual are known as the cognate. Okay. And affines, those who are related by person through the marriage. Through the institution of marriage, the kin members, those are uh, linked through the institution of the marriage. They are called, called, they are called as the affines. Okay. Then corporate group, these are continuing property holding group. Corporate groups are recruited by descent or patrilineal or agnating or matrilineal or uterine kin. Okay. So, uh, another type of the um, kinship uh, terminology can be identified through the another process that is the, known as the lateral and linear. Lateral and linear. So, lateral and linear means, <coughs> lateral means it indicates the side of the kinship group. The father, father, father. It is the lineal father, father, father. That is the lineal lateral the side branch, the branch out from the lineal. Okay, so it indicates the side of the kinship group and related indirectly through another relative, such as father's brother, mother's sister, father's sister, mother's brother. Okay, so these are the branch out from the original uh, lineage. Okay, these are the core uh, that is the lateral side. And the lineal means it is the direct line of the descent, line of the kinship, direct line of the kinship group. Persons who are related by the direct line of the Descent father, grandfather, then great grandfather, that is the direct lineal system, which is called as the uh, lineage, the lineal kin. The father, father's father, okay, son, 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 that is the direct line, got a single line in developer, okay, that is the lineal, lateral branch out, okay. So, let us, uh, this, these are the kinship terminology that are used for identifying for a specific person in different contexts, okay. So, in different societies, uh, kinship terms are used or kinship terminology are used in different contexts uh, as per their cultural norms, okay. In some societies, uh, classificative kinship um, terms are also used in some societies descriptive and some societies both classificative and descriptive and stuff. And there are the, the, some differences in the kinship system in, in context of different societies, okay. So, let us discuss the kinship behavior or the kinship system, okay. So, uh, as we know, there are the some certain uh, system of the kinship uh, usage that the kinship behavior 
that is the joking relationship, avoidance relationship, avanculate, amitate, covet, respect relationship, these are the kinship behavior in the society. Okay. So, joking relationship uh, means our joking relationship. Jodaki our hochi one can joke with an another kid in contrast to their culture. In contrast to their culture, as for their cultural norm, one can joke with an another kid. Okay. So that that is called as joking relationship. So joking relationship might permit for giving expression of feeling and emotions to certain kids, certain specific kids that they are allowed to joke with each other, allowed to joke with each other <coughs> as per their cultural norm that is, uh, the, the, that is called as the joking relationship. Okay. So uh, societies have some uh, sometimes uh, directly opposite attitudes of social behavior patterns. Okay, so one such opposite to the attitude of avoidance is relationship. The extreme avoidance relationship is the just opposite to the joking relationship. Okay, so it involves a particular friendliness, friendliness between individuals, between kin, between kin. Particular social relationship between the between the kin of a particular society on the basis of their cultural rule and groups in certain social situations okay so individuals is allowed to mark the with other without offense being taken and that type of activities that type of behavior social behavior personal that type of personal interaction personal interaction with one another cannot be taken as a crime okay because that can be accepted in their society okay so the uses of this joking relationship permits to teach and make fun with uh, with one another okay they can allow they can socially allow to make fun with an another on the basis of their social rules okay on the basis of their social rules so a joking relationship when not reciprocal exercises social control as it exercise correction through ridicule so radcliffe brown joking relationship So, it is the just reverse of the avoidance relationship, okay, just opposite to the avoidance relationship. Because we have to avoid the avoidance relationship, we have to avoid the social distance in between the kids. But joking relationship, we have to avoid social interaction, personal interaction with one another as per their cultural norm, okay. So, the joking may amount to exchange of abuse and vulgar references. Sometimes it has been observed that some vulgar references, abuse words can also be used for a particular kid in context to different social interaction. Okay. So many societies provide for joking relationship among particular kin related, generally of opposite sex. Generally opposite sex. But uh, joking relationship may also practice in the same sex, but generally it is a uh, practice among the opposite sex. Okay. So, I am a joking relationship grandfather, grandchildren. That is the same thing. Joking relationship I am a household. Okay. But generally, it has been observed that the opposite sex, the joking relationship is much more prevalent in the opposite sex. Okay. So, joking relationship between a grandson and granddaughter. Grandson or granddaughter. Because it is with their grandfather or grandmother. Okay. Grandson, grandfather. Granddaughter, grandmother. Or granddaughter, grandfather uh, okay grandson grandmother okay that can be the joking relationship so between a man and his elder brother's wife as well as a man with his elder brother's wife elder brother's wife man with his elder brother's wife anka bitar madhya joking relationship because elder brother's wife is a, is a king of uh, uh, on the purview of the joking relation okay so that that is the <coughs> joking relationship can be found in different contexts. Okay. So, between the husband and his wife's younger sister. Husband madhya, uh, wife's younger sister saitha madhya, joking relationship prasthi pahe. Yes, yeah, saitha, yes. Yeah. Husband, wife, in some societies. Okay. So, next come to the avoidance relationship. So, avoidance relationship 
इज वेरी नेसेसरी टू ऑल सोसाइटीज ओके बिकॉज विदाउट द अभडेंस रिलेशनशिप विदाउट अभडेंस रिलेशनशिप सोसाइटी कैन नॉट बी मेंटेन इन ए पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर इन ए पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर बिकॉज विदाउट द अभडेंस रिलेशन ऑफ इन बिटवीन सम किंग्स नॉट ऑल किंग सम किंग्स द सोसाइटी कैन नॉट बी बैलेंस बिकॉज इन सम केसेस द सेक्सुअल इंटीमेसी बिटवीन किंग्स आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन द सोसाइटी so without the avarance relationship if we practice the avarance relationship in between some kinds then these problems can be somehow avoided so sufficient enculturation socialization must be uh, must be given at the child to avert this social problem okay so avarance relationship is has been practiced in most of the societies in different context okay so in all societies avarance rule prescribes that men and women must maintain certain amount of modesty in speech dress and gesture so while we using a particular language particular word we have to maintain our decency we have to maintain the social uh, conduct in context to our dress pattern in context to our speech in context to our interaction in different ways so it means that uh, two kin should remain away from each other to avoid sexual intimacy so which is a social problem okay so avarance relationship is established has been established in different societies so that the best example that is the father in law to avoid daughter in law father in law should have daughter in law okay so according rightly according to rightly brow and gp mada avarance serves to forestall further and more serious trouble between relatives okay she ko chanti avarance serves to forestall further and more serious trouble sometimes it may be arise in critical situations but it is much more fruitful in the society to maintain social solidarity to maintain social um, equilibrium okay so these rules are designed to curtail intimacy and usually applied to cross sex relationship to usually applied to cross sex relationship so there are three common avoidance relationship that is the brother uh and sister a man and his mother in law and a woman and her father in law these are the result of avarance relationship so these are the good example in different societies that are that has been observed as an avarance relationship to avoid sexual intimacy in between the kings so as a result the societies fall under two polar extremes one is avoiding societies with many extreme avoidance relationship non avoiding societies with little if any avoidance beyond the bare minimum of modesty between the sex some societies the uh, avoidance relationship is uh, more strict in nature and some societies they also practice it has been practiced but the impact of avoidance relationship is gradually decreasing in their way because in almost all the cases we cannot able to maintain <coughs> properly the um, social avoidance so some cases it has been practiced but the main theme of the uh, social avoidance avoidance is must be practiced to avoid the sexual intimacy okay so the avoidance relationship or to minimize the chance of the development of of openly hostile relation between the party between the kin between the kin so it, it has been practiced to avoid the openly hostile relation between the kin between the kin of a blood relation of in between the incest incest okay so according to gp moda avoidance exists because they reinforce incest tabu ये कहीं कि आम कर 
to check the incest activities. That is the taboo, cultural restrictions, cultural restriction to interact with the uh, sexually with the blood relatives. That is the incest relative. Okay, that is the incest taboo. Jo cultural restriction of incest taboo pe, abe ta pe avoidance relationship must be found in the society. So, according to him, if sufficient self-control is instilled during the socialization process, the extreme avoidance are unnecessary. So, J.P. Mottak stated that if in the process of enculturation, if the process of socialization is sufficiently given at the time of the childhood, then the extreme avoidance relationship is not necessary. Okay? Because that is Childhood summary, Pilaku extreme Jadiame sufficient enculturation by socialized Koritiba as for the rules, the Evraka, Tomopa Uchit, Evraka, Onuji. Then extreme social avoidance relationship may not be required. Okay. So the next behavior that is the Abhankulet, Babhankulet Maja, so the this kinship uses. Is a peculiar feature of the matriarchal system. Abhankulet. Abhankulet means generally this type of behavior, institutions is found in the matrilineal society. Matriarchal form of the family. Or the matrilineal society. Where mother is the head. Mother is the head. Female members is the head of the family. Okay. So, I may pause on this in the Toda tribe. Okay. Hachi tribe, Bhil tribe, the matrilineal society. Okay. So, this kinship uses is a peculiar feature of the matriarchal system. So, it gives to the maternal uncle in a prominent place. Maternal uncle has the prominent place. Maternal uncle, Mamu, Mankar Bhai, Madhat brother. Madhat brother has the prominent role in the life of his nephews or nice. Okay, prominent role or in the life of the nephews and nice. Okay. So, mother's brother is the authority of the, in the family of the nephews and nice. Okay. Because that is based on the matrilineal society. Okay. So, maternal uncle has the prominent place in the life of his nephew. Okay. So, he has a special obligation towards them which exceed those of the father. So, in comparison to the father, in comparison to the, to the father, maternal uncle has the right, has the more right, more social obligation, more social responsibility in the life of the nephew. So, that, that is called as the upper to let. So, he has a prior right over their loyalty. It refers to the special relationship that persists in some society between a man and his mother's brother. Between a man and his mother's brother. Mother's brother. They have a in the relationship in between these two type of kings are more strong than others. And mother's brother is the head of the family. Mother's brother has the right to control the life of so that that is called as the abhankulet and generally this type of behavior is found among the matriarchal form of society or matrilineal society. <coughs> so if the maternal uncle enjoys as a matter of convention a preeminent place among his nephews and nieces, if he has special obligation towards them which exceed those of their father. Means more loyalty, more loyalty, more responsibility, more uh, valuable duties can be expected from the maternal uncle rather than the father. Okay. So, he transmits his property to his nephew. That can be inherited by the nephew. And if the nephew works for him rather than for his own father, then the kinship is called abhankulet. At that uh, case, at that case, nephew has the social responsibility 
towards the maternal uncle. So the property of the maternal uncle may inherit by the nephew. And he has to uh, take responsibility of the maternal uncle. And maternal uncle has the special obligation to, it, to him. So that, that is called as the avantage. And this type of behavior generally found in different matrilineal societies. Okay. Then come to the technome. <coughs> it is a very peculiar use in kinship system. The word technomy has been derived from the Greek word. Without a Greek word to derive it. Technomy. Derived from the Greek word. Hmm? And was used in anthropology by E.B. Tyler. Used by anthropology in E.B. Tyler. E.B. Tyler. So, why, what is technology? A kin is not referred to directly. So, under the technology, a kin is not referred directly, not called by directly by his wife. By his wife. So, uh, refer, uh, and it, he can be referred through an another kin. Another kin madhyamare. A kin is not referred directly, but is referred to an another kin. So a kin becomes the medium, medium of reference between two people. Jonaka madhyamare. I mean, Jonaka madhyamare au jonaka address kariya. Some cases I mean, dekhi tiba rural village re. Husband, the name of the husband has not been pronounced by his wife. Ex father. Identify to an another person. Pillar and Aniki, Pillar of Papa would take a day. Suppose Ramo, Ramo's father, Ramo of Papa. That is the technology. Okay. So, for example, all over rural India, a wife does not utter the name of her husband but refers to him as the father of two and Okay. So, the husband cannot be directly calling, cannot be directly calling. Rather, it refers to him as the father of two and so. The child is not going Child is not going to be able to identify. Okay. So that, that is called as the technology. <coughs> then another form of the behavior, in the behavior or usage, that is the amitet. So that I am going the PUC Pradhanya Sampark. PUC Pradhanya. Father's sisters. UC Pradanya Samparka. Okay. Avanti let us the Matula Pradanya Samparka. Allah, Mamu did a coach. So, the use of habitat gives a special role to the father's sisters. Father's sister has the prominent role in the life. So, that, that is called as the habitat. In this type of kinship usage, father's sister is given more respect than the mother. Mother's brother has, has been given the more respect than the father. Father's sister has given the more respect than the mother. Than the more respect than the mother. Father's sister is given more respect than the mother. So when a special role is given to the father's sister, the use is known as Amite. Special role. A special role, special social responsibilities, special social duties is to be given to the father sisters rather than the own mother. So that that is called as the amitet. You see Pradhanya Sampak. <coughs> this use is more common among patrilineal people. Matriarchal form of family a patrilineal society. But male patrilineal society is good to get that. Okay. So, among Todas, the child gets the name not through his parents but through his father's sister. Okay. Naming the child is her privilege. Jadio, I mean, the question is, what is the case? Father's sisters has the more responsibilities, more loyalties to, towards the family. And among the Todas, the father's sister has the role to name the newborn child rather than the 
is a privilege. It is a privilege. So among Buddha, the child gets the name not through the parents, but through the father's sisters. Naming the child is a privilege. So the last one is that is the kubet. Kubet. Taku ame kubet kuchun. Among a kubet relationship, that is a kinship, this is a very important kinship behavior. So kubet hala. Now according to Malinowski, the use of kubet, the use of kubet. Malinowski konkoyle. Now the use of kubet contributes to a strong marital bond, marital bond between the husband and wife. So generally in the matrilineal societies, wife has the wife is the more powerful person in the family, person in the family. Husband has no specific role in their family. Mother is the head of the family. All the property belongs to the mother. So father has no specific responsibility, specific rights over the property. So at that case, husband established the, the, the child, the uh, newborn child, the Newborn child belongs to the belongs to mother rather than the father. So the more responsibility, more right over the child by the mother is not accepted by the father. So father has to establish right. Father has to establish his right over the child. It's very important. Father has to establish the right over his child as he, the mother established. Jimmy Titara Ma established Kurji, Moro, Twa Privacy, or Garochi, Bapo Mudja, Nijer of Child Lupari, Nijer Right established Korea Guchauchi. So that Kubert system is practiced. So Kaiki, why? Now the use of Kubert is prevalent among the Kasi and the Tora tribes. Kaka Mudiruchi, because of the Kasi tribe, Tora tribe. Tora tribe to the Tamil Nadu, Nilagiri hills of the Tamil Nadu. Okay. So make the husband to lead the life of an invalid along with his wife whenever she gives birth to a child. So to establish the father right. Establish the father right. To establish the father right. Husband has to obey some certain specific customs, traditions, and social rules. As his wife practiced during her pregnancy. During her pregnancy, during the birth of the child, deliver of the child, wife has to obey more social rules, certain specific rules, customs, traditions. So, husband has also obeyed the same response, the same rules, same customs and traditions as his wife obeyed. Because to establish the father right over the child. So that that is called as the covet. Practice of covet is present. So husband observes some taboos, social taboos, as his wife obeyed. And as observed by his wife. So this kinship uses involving wife and husbands have been variously explained. So, to establish the parentship fathers, by the father, husband has to obey the cultural taboo, social taboo, as his wife obeys during her pregnancy and the time of delivery of child or birth of the child. So, that the Kubet practices were developed. So, Malinowski considered Kubet to be a cementing bond of married, married life. Cementing bond between cementing bond. Malinowski Kujunti, cementing bond of married life. And a social mechanism designed to secure paternal affection. A social mechanism to get the paternal affection 
to get the paternal affection. So some social thinkers, they have sought to give a psychoanalytical explanation in context to the practice of the covert system. Okay. So they have attributed this usage to the husband's desire. Husband's desire to lighten the wife's discomfort by process of participation through identification. So husband has to obey some cultural terms. Husband has to take some pains as his wife takes during the birth of the child. So he has to obey these rules, these practices to uh, reduce the pain of his wife. Okay, that is a cultural practice. That is a cultural practice. Okay. So, in some societies, not only some societies, but also almost all the societies, there is another type of kinship behavior which is known as the respect relationship. Sanmana Janaka Acharana. Respect relationship. So, respect relationship generally found almost all the society generally uh, parents and their children senior members of the society and uh, senior and junior members of the society some respected persons of the society some established some village head uh, Samans, these are the some people, those who are established in their society or certain senior members, parent and child, in between the parent and child, in between the different social kids of, uh, in the purview of respect. This type of behavior also found in most of the societies to maintain social equilibrium, to maintain social equilibrium. Social uh, to maintain of the society, to balance the society, so that respect relationship is also found in most of the societies, almost all the societies. So this this is all about the kinship uses of behavior. That is the joking relationship, respect relationship, avoidance relationship, covert, avanculate, imitated, techno. These are the practices of the kinship behavior in context to different societies. Okay, thank you.